Today, we're playing Hungry Monkey. In Hungry Monkey, two to six players vie for the coveted bean cards. Players will have to manage two sets of cards in their play area, cards in their hand, and cards in a face down row in front of them. In order to win, a player must be the first to play all their cards, first from their hand, and then from their card row. If you want to play multiple games, just keep track of the scoring with the bean cards. The final scoring is triggered when either any player has 10 or more beans after a game, or four games have been scored. The player with the most beans wins. Let's check out the setup for four players. Shuffle all animal cards and deal three to each player as their hand. Deal four animal cards face down in a row to each player. No one is allowed to look at these cards unless specified by a card effect. Place the remaining animal cards in the middle of the playing area in a face down draw pile. Hold the bad kitty card upright next to the draw pile, then slide it into the deck at the approximate height determined by the number of players as indicated on the card. With five or six players, place the bad kitty below the pile. Play starts with the youngest player. During a player's turn, they are trying to optimize their cards in both their row and their hand. Then they want to get rid of all their cards once the draw pile reveals the bad kitty card. Players take turns playing cards on the animal stack in clockwise order. On your turn, you must play one or more cards face up on the animal pile, trigger a gang of four if possible, otherwise trigger the animal effect, if any. Draw back up to three cards in hand, unless the bad kitty card has been revealed. On their turn, the active player will choose one of three ways to play cards. You can play any number of identical valid cards from your hand. If you play more than one card, only the effect of the topmost card can be triggered. You can never play invalid cards from your hand. The other option a player has is to play one card from the draw pile. Draw the top card from the draw pile and place it face up on the animal pile. You may choose to play a card from the draw pile even if you have a valid card in hand. If the card is valid, treat it as if you played the card from your hand. It can trigger an effect or a gang of four. If the card isn't valid, you must add the animal pile, including the played card, to your hand and don't trigger its effect. If a player plays a card with an effect, like the tiny ant, swiss sparrow, or sneaky snake, and it doesn't trigger a gang of four, the animal effect is triggered. The special effects on the animal cards will change the basic rules of the game for players when they play those cards, making the game dynamic and unpredictable. You can find a list of all the special card rules on the back of the rulebook. If there are ever four or more of the same card, including copies by a hungry monkey on top of the animal pile, they trigger a gang of four instead of activating the animal effect. The current player must immediately discard all cards from the animal pile to the face down discard pile without triggering any animal effects. Then draw back up to three cards. Lastly, take another turn. The tiny ant is always a valid card. However, a player will take all the cards in the animal pile except any tiny ants played that turn, including hungry monkeys. The Swift Sparrow allows a player to swap one of their face down cards with one of the cards in their hand. The Sneaky Snake lets a player peek at one face down card of any player. The Slender Mongoose gives the player an extra turn after the current one. The extra turn starts after the draw card step. The Strong Buffalo means that the next player has to play a card that has the same or lower number. Regular play continues unless the next player plays another strong buffalo in which the same rules apply. The King Tiger discards all cards from the animal pile, including the King Tiger, to the discard pile. A hungry monkey is always valid, and a monkey can be played alone or together with other valid cards. If another animal is on top of the monkey, the monkey copies its effect. If no other animal is on top of the monkey, the monkey copies the animal below and triggers its effect. After playing a card or cards from their hand, players will draw cards until they have three cards in hand. If you have three or more cards in hand, 
don't draw more cards. If you reveal the bad kitty card, leave it on top. Do not draw any more cards. The draw pile is now considered to be empty and nobody can draw cards for any reason. At this time though, players are allowed to play cards from their face down row once they have no more cards in their hand. But they must play all the cards in their hand first before playing from the face down row. If a card is invalid though, you have to take the entire pile into your hand and get rid of it first before you can play one from the table again. The first player to play all their cards, both from their hand and from their card row, is the winner and draws two bean cards. Play continues with the remaining players until only one player has cards left. You can use bean cards to score over multiple games. Play starts with the player who has lost the last game. After four rounds, or when a player gets 10 beans, the player with the most beans wins because the hungry monkey wants as many beans as they can get. Have a great time playing Hungry Monkey!